Jordan. Hi. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Come on in. Hi, Jordan. What brings you in today? Uh, thanks for meeting with me today. I've uh, just been going through some, some hard times financially. Uh, I lost my job three months ago. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I just got this notice of default from the bank. I have a piece of property. Uh, I didn't exactly know what it meant, what it means, or how to respond to it. Uh, I got it two weeks ago, and I haven't been making my payments. Uh, maybe you guys could help me out with uh, how to respond and just tell me maybe what it means. What we can do is explain what the notice of default means. Mm -hmm. We can go through with you the legal enforcement process and we can also talk to you about our hardship variations uh, if you haven't heard of, of that just yet. Hardship variation? I'm not sure what hardship variation means. Would you be able to explain that to me a little bit? I haven't spoken to the bank about making a hardship variation for your uh, temporary period of unemployment? Not yet, no. Okay. So let's first talk about the notice of default. What you've received is uh, a notice where if you do not make the payment as required or as specified in this letter by the rectification date, that would then enable a B bank to start legal enforcement in the, the court. So oh. that would uh, lead to something like filing a summons for a possession order. That can be quite an expensive process, so we would strongly advise that at this point uh, you have a discussion with the bank and we'll go through the hardship variation uh, process and your options, so whether you look at going to external dispute resolution, the Ombudsman Scheme, or whether you uh, decide to speak with your bank through their own internal dispute resolution process, uh, depending on um, what we uh, discuss a bit further on. Is there any way I can maybe reduce the payments for the next few months or maybe even the next month or maybe put a hold on the payments just because I, I think I might be able to get a job. You know, I've had some promising interviews uh, so I'm hoping to you know start my payments again but for right now I'm just you know I'm only on Centrelink and I'm barely making ends meet so I'm, I'm hoping that I can you know get back on track but for now you know I, I can't make the payments and I'm afraid that what's going to happen and I don't want to lose my house. Mm -hmm. The law provides that if you make a hardship variation request that your bank considers the hardship variation. So if you're experiencing a temporary time of unemployment you might wish to propose a variation which can be uh, uh, any proposal or wide range of terms, okay. such as whether you propose a moratorium of payments and for your arrears to be capitalised, or whether you propose that your payments are reduced uh, over this hard time that you're going through. Uh, but the law does require that they consider that hardship request. Because you've received a notice of default, it's quite important that you seek this hardship variation request before the rectification date. If you were to do nothing, the bank could, if they wanted to, instruct their solicitors to file that summons in the Supreme Court. Would you be able to help me with the response to the bank? I'm not sure exactly how to write up a letter in response. Certainly, we've got some template letters that we could assist you with in seeking a hardship variation request. In terms of working out what you want to propose to the bank, we would really recommend that you see one of our financial counsellors. We have free financial counselling as part of our Consumer Credit Law Centre, and a financial counsellor can assist you by going through your income and expenditure to work out whether you have any capacity at this point in time to make your mortgage repayments or what proposal would be realistic and viable. Uh, we wouldn't want you to be making a hardship proposal that you cannot meet um, because that would be wise. Okay. Um, are you happy for us to refer you to one of our financial counsellors? Yeah, that would be great. I mean, you can Fantastic. Them, yeah. And then we can uh, now discuss uh, the legal enforcement process with 
uh, mortgagee possession matters and then we can talk about making a hardship variation, what that means and what the law requires and your options so far as if you go through an internal dispute resolution process or whether you go straight to the Ombudsman. Okay, thank you.